Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. So you guys have heard us talk about we have some cool projects coming up. This is one of them. We still got a few more. This is one of them. I reached out to um, a YouTuber that I've been watching for several years. His name is Matt Outlaw. You guys know him. Uh, 731 Woodworks. And I reached out to him, said I'd love to do something with him, and he agreed, and we talked a little bit. He actually, you know, I'm humbled by the fact that he knew who I was and has watched sub several of our videos. Anyway, really good guy. You guys, if you don't know 731 Woodworks, go check out Matt Outlaw out there because he is he's terrific. So anyway, here is his logo. This is the start of the project. So we picked a piece of cedar and uh, we went ahead and did the, um, did the layout on it and we had to do some Starbond fill. You know, Starbonds are one of our sponsors. We had to do some Starbond fill and then we put a coat of clear on it to keep that uh, inkjet transfer from smearing. And so now um, the next scene will move on and that'll be Ryan and we'll get the shape cut because the, the board is going to be uh, shaped that oval. But um, anyway, so we don't know how many videos this is going to take. We'll just take it one step at a time. But I think if it comes out like I picture it in my mind, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So stick with us and we'll uh, move on to the next step. Okay, guys. So we're going to use a bandsaw and we're going to kind of cut the rough shape of the oval here. I took the chop saw and I cut off uh, the corners. Just the, you know, the easier way to do it is just to um, eliminate as much of the bandsaw use as we can just because this thing's so thick. So last time we used the bandsaw, you guys saw us in the cave, but my amazing wife spent two or three, two days. I said it was going to take her four. She didn't have the time. She spent two days completely going through the shop, the garage, cleaning it, organizing it. So now, now we can actually use it, which is nice. So that's why we're in the garage today. All right. So we're going to try to cut this rough shape out. And then I'm not going to get too close to the line simply because I really don't want to mess it up. And then we're going to take the disc sander and really refine, refine our shape. So let's get to it. Right, guys so we're gonna finish this up off camera just kind of cut a few more little pieces off here just make sure we're as close as we can to the lines and then um, we're gonna come back with the disc sander and we're gonna refine this thing and get it right where we want it so we'll be right back all right Ryan did his job with the bandsaw did a great job getting close to that line. Now I'll just dress it up. We could use, there's several different ways we could do this. We could do it with a hand disc sander like we sand our signs off with, but that doesn't give us a really 
any way to keep that thing square. We really want it to be a, 90, a good 90 degree angle. Uh, we could do it with a belt, belt saw um, and just set it up on edge. But this is my favorite tool to do something like this, which is just the combination belt disc sander. And I've used this this particular tool for decades. So um, I'm a little bit more adept in how to use this. You always want to sand, do all your grinding on this side of the of the disc. Otherwise, if you sand over here, it'll want to kick the piece up. Over here, it will pull it down to the table. So anyway, let's uh, see what we can do here. So that gives you a nice, nice clean edge and we're right, pretty much right on that line. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of this, guys. Get this thing all cleaned up, ready to go. Then we'll head out to the patio and start doing some carving. So stick with us. We'll be right back. All right, boys and girls, we're back and we've got this thing laid out. We're ready to carve. So uh, the disc sander did a great job. This thing is just feels perfect all the way around. Um, nice and smooth so what we've done here because of sorry about that I hit the microphone there because these letters are so skinny normally we would make those outset but because of that we decided to put a box around here and then make these inset I'm gonna do some power carving on this stuff and if I had these outset I could certainly do them but a couple different uh, issues that may come into play Cedar tends to sometimes be a little chippy, and I would hate for to lose one of those letters because of chippiness, number one. And number two, when I go with the power carver, it might be kind of difficult to get down inside of there. So let's make this a complete box, and then we're going to carve around the outside of it, make this an outside piece, outset piece, and then carve these letters inset. I think it's going to look pretty cool, and then all these will all be outset as well. All right, let's get after it. So I've got the profile bit in my Milwaukee. And, um, oh, I don't have my cheaters. I need my cheaters. Hold on. Right here. That's where I normally keep them up there. You can't keep those. You have to be careful because these are magnifiers. It's really strange, but... We faced west here. I'm facing west as we're speaking. And if I had set these, if I, like when we're done carving and the sun goes down and these are set in the wrong position, then the sun hits his magnifier and it'll start stuff on fire. I've, I've caught it a couple times. It's like, okay, now I put them up on a shelf and behind something so the sun in the afternoon can't hit that magnifier. Not like you guys really needed to know that, but if you have these things, you know, remember, don't set them down where the sun can, uh, you know, start something on fire. So leaving them on your dashboard is probably a bad idea. <laughs> probably a bad idea, yeah. All right, let's get after it. So I've got the profile bit in, and um, it is set at about 3 sixteenths, something like that. I want to get these... Uh, these inset letters done first. Those are the part part that looks like it's going to be the most difficult. I am going to take it up a little bit since I'm going to do those inset letters. I want I want my bit set at about an eighth. Let's try that. And see how it works. Here we go.
Okay, so there is the bottom part. I feel pretty good about those lines. Not too, not too bad. I held a little bit of a pretty decent straight line. Okay, so now we are going to, uh, when we come back, we will move on to this outset stuff and uh, then get that border cut. We're going to use a profile bit. Profile bit really should do uh, pretty much all of this until we start into the power carving. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, let's uh, move on with the outset stuff on here now. So what I'm going to do now, the next uh, hardest piece, I think, is this border. So I want to get this border done. So I, again, I'm going to use, when I have something like this, I'm going to use my fingers, and they're going to follow the contour and hopefully be able to hold that line with the router. So I've got my uh, profile bit in. Oh, on the outside of this box, obviously I went deeper. I didn't say anything about that, but I went deeper on the outside of this box. So I'm not quite that deep, but um, let me look and see where I'm at, actually. Oh, we left our depth gauge inside, I think. Yes, please. I am gonna set a little bit deeper our other project okay I've got to set a little deeper than 3 16 we're gonna try that and see how that works all right here we go Now I'll kind of reassess that, guys, and check out that line, see if I need to go and just touch that up. Actually, it looks pretty decent. I don't see any major baubles on there. Maybe touch up a couple little places, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, guys, that's about it for this video. We've, uh, you know, we've kind of gone a long ways. On the next video, we'll finish up the carving the routing and then we'll get into power carving and get this thing done and hopefully wrapped up in the next video so again that's where we're at right now let me stand up here happy with the way it's coming out so far i think it's going to be pretty cool so our plan is to uh get the rest of this routed and do some power carving i don't know how deep we're going to go yet but um and then uh put a finish on it see how it comes out so anyway guys thanks so much for watching if you have any questions please email me eric at makerwoodsign.com 
Uh, definitely, if you've not checked out Matt's uh, Matt's channel, go check him out. He does some really cool stuff. So uh, we're just happy to be able to do this for him, and uh, just you know, again, humbled that he. Uh, it's a gnat season. Humble that he watches what we do once in a while. Anyway, guys, uh, if uh, you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe and click that little bell icon because uh, we do videos four times a week. And if you need supplies, sign carving supplies, there's the website. That's about it. I'm going to get off here before I sneeze because I can feel it coming. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. We love you. Bye-bye.